in this video we are going to see that how can we insert line numbers uh, to the pages in Microsoft Word or to individual line in each page in Microsoft Word. So right now we have these different uh, paragraphs of text that is available in just one page. What I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to insert another page and here I'm just going to copy and paste this whole piece of text. Okay. So we, that we have multiple pages in the document like this. Okay. So now let's see how can we insert line number to individual lines in a Word document. For this, we need to go to this layout tab just beside the designs tab. Here in the page setup group, you would get this line numbers option. So right now it is selected to none. That's why we are not getting line numbers. But if you just select it to continuous, then what would happen is each and every line would have a number associated with it, right? Like here is some white space. So let me just remove it. So the last line number is 34. It is even counting these uh, white spaces as lines over here, as you can see it. Okay. Now from the next page onwards, what we are getting is the line number 35. That means it is taking this whole document as a continuation, the first page and the second page. And this is how it is going. Let me just remove the white space over here. So this is how it's going. That is one till 34, then 35 till 68. This is what we are getting. But if you just don't want this, like you want 34 to end over here. And then from here, from the next page onwards, you want it again from one. So what you can do is again in the layout tab page setup group, go to line numbers and select restart each page. So till 34, it was on the first page. And then from the second page onwards from one, it is restarting. Similarly, if you want it to restart from each section. So right now we have not divided the page into sections. That is why it's just taking as the continuous thing. Okay. Again, if you just want to suppress for current paragraph, so whatever the current paragraph is or whatever your cursor or uh, wherever your cursor is, that particular paragraph would be suppressed or would be removed from uh, having the line numbers. Like let me press control C. Uh, let me go to this particular paragraph. Right. Uh, let me just place my cursor over this particular paragraph. Go to line number, suppress for current paragraph. So till 45 and then 46 continues from here. If you want to just remove some of the paragraphs from line numbering, that is how you can do. Again, go to line number, suppress for this paragraph. So this is how it is suppressed. And this is how you can actually assign line numbers to the individual lines. Now there is this line number options. If we just go to it, here you can see the different ways through which you can actually set it like uh, where you want the section to start. Okay, so let's just give it to a new page uh, where you want it from the edge. Like what is the difference of the header and the footer, the alignment where you want it, you want justified alignment, you want it to the bottom, or you want it to the center. And there is this preview that has been shown to us like you want it to be applied to the whole document or wherever the cursor is that means this point forward so let's just click on ok so what would happen is wherever my cursor was like my cursor was uh, in between of this paragraph so in between that paragraph the line numberings have again started okay let me just uh, remove it by pressing ctrl z again go to line number option then we have line numbers which you can just uh, customize as per your own like by default it starts from one uh, the text is auto and the difference between the text that is automatically taken okay and then count by so what is the skipping part so uh, let's just select it to 2 and click on ok again click on ok so what would happen 36 38 40 the skipping of 2 is being taken over here that means uh, it's starting from 2 4 6 8 like this if I just again go to this line numbers option and make it start at 3 from a uh, text i have selected the uh, default size as 0.3 inches click on ok and again click on ok now there is no difference being shown in the size so let me just show the difference for this let me just set the alignment as this now if i just set the alignment as the justified alignment or basically the right side of the alignment then you can see the differences present over here okay now again if you just go to this line numbers options here uh, we can just select it to auto basically and 
start at uh, probably eight basically you can just change it as per your wish so what would happen is it would start from eight okay next we have is the borders option if you just select this borders option so it is nothing but the borders that we have been working on like if you want to apply some kind of a border you can just apply it by clicking on the ok button or this page borders dialog box should be there for you so this is how we can apply line numbers this is how we can actually change the way the line numbers are looking in microsoft word that's all for this video thanks for watching